Now then, somebody out there saying, this guy up here now is a blaspheming the Holy Ghost. But when he was how old? The presence of Jesus whenever that Mary went to where Martha was at. And both of them pregnant. John, when Jesus, the presence of Jesus, the word of God, come close to John, he was filled with the Holy Ghost in his mommy's womb. And he leaped. Hallelujah. Ain't that good? I mean, that's good news. And then, no wonder that the devil, no wonder, Kenneth, that the devil has got people standing behind pulpits, uh, teaching people that speaking in tongues is gibberish. Tongues ain't got nothing much to do with it, no way. About It's got a lot to do with us of being able to pray for things that we don't know how to pray for and builds up on our most holy faith. But if you just left that part out, you've got to be led by the Holy Ghost to do anything. Anything. Talking about a while ago about him going across to the other side in the ship. And Kenneth said that he didn't think that Jesus probably knowed every little bit and piece he's supposed to done. It didn't say that the Holy Spirit drove him over there, but he led him over there. You don't, I mean, when you're leading something, you're leading it. It's, it's a following you along. So Jesus was a follower, wasn't he? And the Holy Ghost was a leading. Is that taken away from Jesus? No, the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, they all agree in one, don't they? They make up the Godhead. Well, why is the church in the shape it's in today? I don't, I don't want to get ill or don't want to get mean. <laughs> I don't want to, and I'm not going to. But for God's sakes, if you're a Pentecostal, if you're a Baptist, if you're a Methodist, Episcopalian, Whatever you are, it ain't got nothing to do with what's wrote in your bylaws. What your doctrine says or nothing about it. If it don't line up with the Word of God, it ain't no good. It's no good. If you're going to go with them and steal this book, leave your Bibles at home. Don't even take them with you wherever you go. Don't read them. Don't go. Just throw it away. Throw them away. And carry around the little, whatever that little book is that says what you believe in. Just carry it with you. There ain't no use of being a hypocrite. Amen? Is that all right? I mean, if you're, going to, if, you're going to, if you're going to say that you believe in Jesus Christ and in the Word of God, and you ain't going to walk in it, and you ain't going to stand for it, and you get mad when somebody tells you what the Word is, don't have nothing to do with it. Just take it and throw it away or sell it to somebody in the yard sale and say, send me one of them books from my denomination. I'm going to carry it. I'm, going to, I mean, I'm just going to carry it around. And it says in there that speaking in tongues is went out with the disciples and hit all the healing went out with the disciples. All the giving and receiving went out with the disciples. God don't want to bless his people no more. That he's doing this, that, and other. I mean, let's read the manual. Let's read your manual. Don't even consider the word of God. It's what the Bible says. Don't say, just consider the word of God. Consider it. And, and, and you have every opportunity in the world to consider it. It ain't because I'm smart. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I know I'm inferior in uh, a lot of ways to a lot of people that's watching me and listening to me, but I've got one thing that a lot of people ain't got. And I've got Jesus Christ living in me, and I've got the Holy Ghost living in me, and I've got this Word of God living in me. And I've got a lot to learn. I, ain't, I, ain't, I told Kenneth a while ago, he said we was all going uphill before the service. I told him, I said, it might not be steep enough that I'm getting out of breath, but I'm, I'm going up a little. <laughs> but we, we need to get in the Word. They couldn't enter in because of their unbelief. said, let us therefore fear. Let us therefore what? Fear. Lest a promise. Lest a promise. What is a promise, Deb? It's anything 
that's written in the Word of God that says that we can have. Well, now, we better get scared. We better be afraid if we're going to let these promises that's in the Word of God being left to us of entering into His rest, haven't we? Any of you should seem to come short of it. Let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you seem to come short of it. What does that mean? I mean, is that promise left? Is that, I mean, is that, is that something we ought to be afraid of when it says in there time and time and time again, even more so, Brenda, than it does a saying about being born again? 